So this example of a confidence interval calculation in the chapter of analysis of one categorical variable is going to be a bit more succinct since you've already seen one. So in this problem, we are interested in how confident we want to be, the sample size, and then also our successes. Sometimes successes are not given as an x, but an already calculated value of p hat. So the first thing we want to do is identify the population. So the population here is McDonald's sales. And then the sample is going to be the 310 restaurants. And then, as we did in the last video, I want to define my parameter of interest. So we always start with p equals proportion or percent or probability, depending on what's stated. Here it's stated to be proportion. So it's proportion of, and my population is McDonald's sales. And then my success is if they're Happy Meals, so a proportion of McDonald's sales that are Happy Meals. Next, we want to state our assumption. So remember, we're always going to be saying that we assume the sampling distribution of p hat is the normal distribution. And then we would like to verify that by checking conditions. And our conditions, remember, n times p hat and n times 1 minus p hat both have to be greater than or equal to 10. So we have 310 is our n times p hat, which was stated up top to be 40%. So we have 124. And then n times 1 minus p hat. That gives us 186. So because both of these are greater than or equal to 10, our conditions are met. So because of that, we're verifying the um, legitimacy of using the formulas for calculating a confidence interval that we have here. So p hat we've already stated is 0.4. Our confidence level multiplier for 90%, which here is the table that you would look it up. We have 1.645 as our multiplier. Then we would calculate standard error. And that is using the formula p hat times 1 minus p hat over n. Oops, uh, I know n. 310. So when you do these, I like to save myself from figuring out where the decimal values go, or excuse me, the parentheses go, by just entering it and using the answer function. And then remember, you would go out to the four decimal places or the ten thousandths place. 
So I have a standard error of 0 0.0278. Next we'll calculate margin of error, which remember is the Z star times standard error. And so here we have a Z star of 1.645, and then we just calculated standard error to be 0 0.0278. So we come up with a margin of error equal to 0 0.0457. And then we'll calculate the confidence interval. So we have p hat plus or minus margin of error. p hat is 0.4 plus or minus, and we have a margin of error 0 0.0457. So you would want to subtract first, remember, and then add. So I get an interval that will range from 0.33, or excuse me, 0.354457. So finally, we'll interpret this confidence interval. So we start with how confident we are. So here we would say we are 90% confident. And then we state our parameter definition, which we defined up here. So we're 90% confident. It's going to be the proportion of McDonald's sales that are Happy Meals. is between, and then we'll state our interval, um, 0.3543 and 0.4457. So we've included the three things that are necessary in interpretation, how confident you are, your parameter definition, and then the interval itself. So that's another example of how to calculate a confidence interval.